Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Tonight we have the Convoy M2. This is a new version. This has the XM L2 U2 1A LED. So I was kind of interested in this. It's really, really cheap, cheap flashlight, you guys. Um, I'll show you real quick. Let me pull it up for you guys. And it's, this LED has a lot of interesting um, versions, I guess. Let's get into it right now. So basically these are their colors. The first line, the emitting color, you guys. I took the T63B, which is 5,052. I was gonna get the T64, T64C, I think that's 4,000. Um, but I went with the T6, I like that. And um, this right here is the the driver, I'm assuming, you guys. I took the 8. They said the 8 would be more powerful. I'll show you where they let us know that at. So here's a description. Um, I don't know what that is. No, that's related to the battery. So you guys can pause that, but I'll show you guys. So this does have a few group modes. Um, I think it's two group modes. But this is how you switch to group modes right there choose the low mode wait about five seconds when you see flashing turn off your flashlight then turn it on you can switch to three mode group or five mode group and um like i said these are your tents they show you the tent colors right there and then this is your output right here so like i said the bigger current the brighter and hotter flashlight so i got the biggest current they got which is the 71358 and then here's your default mode two groups so you can get somewhat of a i think that's included i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't even messed with it you guys i just received it and I'm sharing with you guys and if you guys want to pause any of that you've got your mode memory low voltage so yeah let's get into it Let's tear it open and check it out. Um, my reasoning for getting this, you guys, actually, I got another one, too. I'll do a review on that one later with a different LED. Um, but uh, if I'm not happy with this LED, I plan on swapping it in the near future, you guys. Trying to get some hosts ready for that. Let me get rid of this lanyard first. We don't need the lanyard. It gets in the way right now. So yeah, if I'm not happy with this LED, I will definitely um, swap it out. This is my plans. But if it's, if it's nice in here, then I'm fine. Let's check it out. So yeah, I like the little bit. Oh, look, they even got a sticker, you guys. Nice. Let me get that off of there. So that's pretty slick. That's what that LED looks like. It's the XM. What was that? Sorry, you guys. It's the XM L2 U21A. I don't think I have this LED. That's why I was interested in this too. And then, then again, I might have it. All right, let's um, put a battery in it. It's a nice little build. Actually, uh, I'm going to grab my M1. Give me one second. I want to compare them. All right, you guys, I got my, I got my M1 right here. I just wanted to compare it. Wow, so the head on the M1 is bigger. So this is, I was looking like, wow, why is this? I thought this would be bigger, you guys. Um. But yeah, the M1's a little bigger. Let's look at the reflectors. So the M2's on my right, M1's on my left. So the M2 has a way deeper reflector than the M1, but the head on the M1 is bigger. Other than that, pretty similar, I guess you could say. Or not similar. I got different cuts and all that, but same battery. I like how they put that bezel on there. That's nice. 
really nice. All right, so I got a um, I got a fully charged battery, you guys. Um, 30Q. I'm hoping for over a thousand lumens, you guys. But um, I don't know. Yeah, probably it'll probably be 800, 800, 900. But we'll find out right now. First, make sure it works, I guess. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And boom. 1060. I think that's the high mode, you guys. So, yeah, that was it. So, this is the five mode group it's in right now. So 1,001, okay, so it just blinked right there, so that's how you, and you turn it off, and you turn it back on, I probably did it too late, but you switch your mode groups like that, so yeah, okay, that's the first UI I think I have of that, so yeah, not bad. You guys a little close up. Not bad. It's a, definitely a front pocket carry light. Uh, that's what I was really interested in. I didn't even think. I thought this was going to be um, bigger. You really can't tell in the pictures, you guys. Even though the head did look a little slimmer. But yeah, let's take it outside and see what it looks like, you guys. Alright, you guys. It's pretty dark out here. Let's see what this M2 does. It's already on high. And before I test the throw, I want to see, yeah, this don't throw much. You guys, probably about 200 meters, two to 300. Kind of figured that. That's why I wasn't worried about testing it. But still nice, though. Nice for a little um, dog walk or to hand off to a family relative. I want to see the heat on this, too. That's another thing. So I, I claim it gets hot the higher the higher you um, switch. So I'm gonna, um, real quick st strobe you guys. And there's your SOS, wow, that's pretty bright though. There's your low, there's your medium, there's your high, and then you can, like I said, switch between group modes which is kind of interesting how they do that. Leave it on low for five seconds, turn it off, and I think you gotta turn it back on real quick, and they don't tell you how to do nothing from there on, though. But yeah, this is great heat. This, I like it, I'm not, I, I'm gonna keep this LED in this, um, in this setup, you guys, this don't need to be replaced. My shit, honestly, I'm thinking I probably should've got the 4,000 Kelvin. But yeah, this is plenty good. You gotta see, it's dark back there. And then it's, it's not blinding light, but it's, it's nice, nice tint in my opinion. Yeah, the Convoy M2. I know this host has been out for ages. Um, it's my first time getting this host. Actually, I ordered two of these lights with a different LED. And I'm um, definitely liking it. I like these uh, little cheap $20 convoys. You can't beat the price on this. 20 bucks. Like, I'll put this up against any box store flashlight, basically. I'm not saying it'll out lumen all the box stores, of course, but I guarantee it looks better than most of them for the price. Well, actually, this would probably compete with everything for 20 bucks at the box stores. <laughs> But yeah, it's nice though, and like I'm doing the heat, you guys. This thing is not even heating up. It's chilly tonight. Um, like I said, we're almost going into summer, and it's still cold up here. Yeah, nice real tint, you guys. It don't even look like it's dropping either. 
So definitely a plus for the convoy. So I'm really choked up on it, just letting you guys know. No heat at all. Great light. Great light for 20 bucks. 21. I think I paid, yeah, I paid 21. I think this version went up to 22. I meant to, should have showed you guys that. Um, but I think the highest version was 23 bucks, but still worth, way worth it. Just lights up the whole top of them trees. I'm just trying to see if I notice it dropping. Not really. I don't notice it. Turn it off and see if it comes back on brighter. About the same. All right, you guys, we're going to go back in and we'll wrap it up. All right, you guys, that's the Convoy M2. I, I'm impressed. I like it. Um, the LED's fine. I have no issues with it. Uh, I mean, for the price, like I said, I paid 21 bucks for this one, and I paid 21 for my other one. I have a, the 50.2 LED, the XHP. So I'll do a review on that probably in a couple of days or tomorrow or whatever. But yeah, this one is a winner in my book. I'm sure you can switch out the cap. Probably can use this cap. But maybe not. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But they look the same. Yeah, they should work. And I like that little um, stainless steel bezel they put on there. Nice touch. $20, $21. Can't beat it. But yeah. Uh, definitely appreciate all you guys for tuning in. God bless. And I'll see you guys on the next one.